Hello and welcome to Life is Strange 2. I'm going to be playing through episode 1. Hopefully I'm going to try my best to upload all the episodes to my channel on YouTube. So yeah, hope you enjoy the video. If you do, leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more gameplay playthrough videos and stuff like that. And... I'm playing this on the PS5 for better quality, so yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Officer Matthews, I've got a 1010 in progress. 1452 Lewis Avenue. I'm gonna need backup. Copy that. All backup available. It's gonna be alright. On the ground. 353. Check back up immediately. We need backup. I repeat, we need backup. Tonight, don't be late, losers. Okay, update time. You heard back from Jen yet? Um, no. I'm sure she'll reply at some point. Let me take a look at the situation. Hey, Jen, you going to the party tonight? Dude, we talked about this. Could you have any less game? <sighs> 
I'm no good at this. Ooh, how about... Yo, Jen, see you at the party. Let me know if I should bring handcuffs. <laughs> oh my god, you thirsty bitch. Here, let Lila the Love Witch work her magic. Okay, just don't make me sound like a loser. I said matchmaker, not miracle worker. Hey, hold on. Let me check it before you send. Too late. Would be awesome to see you there. What? I could have texted that. It's a good start. She'll text back, you'll see. You know, I don't even know if I want to go tonight. Oh, please. It's gonna be fun. You hate every party. Oh, because they're all the same. Too many people, too fucking loud, everybody's wasted. Yes, Sean, you just described a party. Well, the suspense is killing me. It's Dad. Wants to know if I'm coming home after school. <sighs> Jeez, I'm not a ten-year-old. He just cares about you, Sean. Anyway, you should be happy your dad's looking out for you. Oh, it's Jen saying she can't wait to see us at the party! What? Really? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Told you I would work my matchmaker magic! Hmm. So... So what should I wear tonight? A condom. Oh, ha ha. Paying plenty of attention in sex ed class, I see. Hey, lovebirds. Back from the loony bin? Shut the fuck up, dickhead. Damn, your neighbor's an asshole. Yep. Always true to himself. Man, we need to find a couch for your yard one day. Careful. Last time my dad almost busted me out here. Because you were alone? Your dad wouldn't bust me. He loves me. So, you wanna hit or not? Yeah, okay. It's Friday. Thanks for making me smoke again. Oh, then I'll make sure you don't smoke any weed tonight. Deal? <sighs> Deal. <laughs> Can't wait to see you baked as hell trying to pull this off. Speaking of weed, I got that covered tonight. What else do we need? Eric said his parents don't leave shit at the cabin, so we better make an official party list. Hey, whoa! What the hell are don't you doing? Don't move! You're my human post-it note. First, we need money for supplies, munchies, chips and dip, soda, etc. Uh, this better wash off. And of course, we must not forget the booze. I can probably snag a six-pack from Dad if he's got enough. Hey, did you ever think of maybe just sending a text instead? Hmm. Oh, right. Blankets. It's gonna get so chilly tonight. You and Jen are gonna need something to snuggle under. Oh, one last thing. C-O-N-D-O... Oh, stop. You're out of room, punk. Whoa, good drawing, Lila. Daniel's teacher would be proud of you. Ha! The pretentious artist has spoken. Don't fall asleep before me tonight, or you might see more of my skills. <laughs> you wish. Oh, these fucking planes, man. I want to hate them, but I'll miss them so much if I move somewhere else.
shit changes so fast. I get so emo sometimes, wondering what will happen to us once we graduate. Will you still be my BFF? Will shit ever get better than 1452 Lame Avenue? Yeah, man. Friends forever. Yeah, but what happens if we go to different colleges? Or you get sick of me? Whatever. Uh, you heard of the internet? <laughs> no way distance can tear us apart. We're freaking fighters. Yeah, you're right. Best freaking fighters forever. Okay, it's getting way late and I gotta pick out my outfit for tonight. Skype me later when you're ready. Hugs. Talk to you soon. Hello, Friday night. <laughs> hey, perfect timing. Just the sun I wanted to see. Oh, sure. But I'm a little busy. Did you see Lila? She said we can go to the movies next week. She said- Dude, bug her, not me. You're not exactly her type. You're lucky she puts up with you. Ugh, jeez. Thanks, Pop. I feel really supported right now. You're welcome. And now we need an objective judge. That would be you. <gasps> really? Hey, no shh, fair. Shh, shh, shh. Court is in session. Judge Diaz presiding over the case of the last Choco Crisp. I, I have to go, uh, get ready for a party and stuff. So, well, if you want to attend to a party and stuff, you have to earn it, your honor. Oh, shit. Hey, he swore. Yes, I heard Tattletale. Mm. Please, Judge Diaz, be an example to the court and society. Then you can go hook up or chill or whatever. Now, who deserves to eat this final choco crisp? Your adorable little brother who eats about 10 bags a week, or your poor, suffering father who slaves over a hot engine to provide his family with a home and a garage? Me, me, me! Come on, Judge! Shh, 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 shh. Let him decide. Judge, the verdict, please. Daniel was guilty of being a brat. So the Choco Crisp goes to Senor Diaz. What? No way. You're a cheat. <laughs> nope. I'm the law. Your Honor, I can't let you punish an innocent man. So? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I always knew you'd confess. Okay, back to work. I hear an engine calling my name. And you better play nice together, like you always do. I have to go to work in my room, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Don't hurry back. <sighs> OK, let's get this party list started. You're coming with me. Cross that off the list. Food down, drinks to go. This will work. I don't want to get wasted in front of Jen.
Damn. Lila's so hyped up for tonight. Better hurry. Well, it's not my turn to do the laundry. All right, Dad. Where do you put the blankets? I'm sure Dad won't miss one blanket for the night. That you, Sean? Yeah. Yeah. Don't get too excited, kid. You're making me nervous. Hey, since you're creeping around up there, can you pass me the wrench in the top red drawer over there? Sure, can do. Um, there's no wrench here. Ah, uh, shoot, must be somewhere else then. Take a look around. I know I left it nearby. It's a 16 millimeter reversible flex wrench. Jeez, that was definitely my plan for tonight. So, yeah. Hold on. Sam came by the garage today. Told me to tell you hi, friend. How's this leg? Well, you know, old fossils like us don't heal the way you do. Uh, remind me never to get old. Hey, it beats the alternative. Hey, son. Is that it? Hey, yes. That's the one. That was quick. So you did learn something from your old man after all. Yeah, yeah. All right, just let me tighten this. So, finally decided to come and join your old man under the hood, huh? <laughs> yeah, um, sure. I know it's not your thing, but you gotta learn a trade, art, Athletics, engineering, I don't care. As long as you put your heart into it. I'm trying. I just don't know what direction to go. You're only 16 years old. You've got time to figure it out. Trust me, took me a while too. And you happy with it? I mean, your job, living here? Of course I am. We're doing great. Maybe one day when I retire, I'll go back to Mexico, to Puerto Lobos. But until then... Oh, I've heard this one before. Hmm. I don't even know why I'm fixing you a sweet car for graduation. Ah, oh, come on. It's wicked. I'm just not used to driving. You better get used to it or you'll be taking your date to prom on the number 30 bus. Like I'm going on tons of dates. Not when Daniel's cock-blocking me the whole time. He's nine. He doesn't even know what cock-blocking is. He looks up to you, Sean. Try and help him. It's what family is for. Things are kind of scary out there in this country right now. Yeah. Oh, um, by the way, I was wondering how long it'd take. You need money for the party tonight, right? <sighs> ah, 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 shh. Just be honest with me. No bullshit. Are you using this money to buy alcohol? Weed? Uh, come on. I, I wouldn't spend money on booze. We just... 
want to get some, uh, some Halloween crap and stuff. Well, then you definitely don't need the $40 I was going to give you. Twenty bucks? That's it? You can buy a lot of Halloween crap and stuff for twenty bucks. Unless you're lying your ass off. Remember, no eating candy and driving. You got it? Tell Lila too. You hear me? Yes, sir. Yeesh. Just be careful. That's all I'm asking for, okay? I know what kind of crazy shit kids can get into. When you were my age, did you party a lot? <laughs> Sorry. What happens in Mexico stays in Mexico. Now get out of here before I change my mind about that cash. And keep an eye on Daniel while you're home, would you? All right. Thanks, Dad. Hey, hey, hey. Not so fast, Shawnee boy. Don't you think your papito deserves a hug? Ugh. Oh my god. Not when you call yourself like that. Uh, I get it. Too lame to hug the old man. Been there. All right then. Get out of here, Mr. Cool. Bye. Love ya. I love you too, hijo. I bet Dad had a pretty wild teenagehood. Even though he won't tell. Looks like I got everything. Better pack it all up. Finally, ready to go. Time to Skype Lila on my laptop. Lila will survive if I take five to practice my drawing. I should take a good look at the subject before drawing. Lighting is nice. It's been a while since I've sketched my room. 
Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. My room almost looks cool on this. Not an easy task. <laughs> Good job. boy. Just give me a minute. Gee, where did I put the... Mm, hold on. <sighs> okay, hi. Did you get everything on your hand list? It's all in my backpack, yeah. Dad hooked me up with some cash, so we're set for the night, in case we need anything else. Or if you and Jen need anything else. Ooh la la. <sighs> okay, serious talk. What are you gonna say to Jen tonight? I don't know. Whatever. Do I need to practice? I've seen you in action. Yes. You're totally into her, right? Duh. Why do you think I'm freaking out? She's so super cool. You're super cute. Just be yourself. That's why she's Sean. into you. Sean! I'm done, look! I made zombie blood. It's, um, corn syrup and food coloring. Hey. Hi, uh, Lila. Get out of my room, Daniel. I was just... Come on, man. Just the... Just bugging the uh, shit out of what? me again after I told you to knock? Uh, yeah, what? I know. <sighs> anyway. Sean, you're an asshole. What's your problem? <gasps> but... I want to see zombie blood if you don't. <sighs> sorry, sorry. I'll make it up to him. He knows I can be a dick. I'm just stressed out about tonight. No, oh, please. We're gonna have so much fun. Maybe tonight's the night. Don't jinx me. Jinx? I'm your lucky charm, bitch. <laughs> okay. So when are you coming over? I just have to hit up the momster for the car keys and hope she doesn't make me lie too much about the party. I'm already in trouble from last time. This time, don't get caught. Let me see that drawing. This might be my masterpiece. Well, yeah. It's my portrait. Ooh, shit. Jen just posted her outfit for tonight. What? On her wall. You should check it up. It might get your attention. Hey, are you listening to me? Um, you know something called multitasking? That's a girl thing, I no? Don't touch it. Whoa. Don't touch it. Her hair. Whoa, indeed. I told you she was super into you, man. What's her profile picture got to do with me? Huh, you will see. No reaction, no like, no nothing? Hey, uh, I don't appear like a stalker or something. <laughs> okay, okay. Touche. <sighs> Why is Derek Anderson all over Jen's profile? <sighs> He's an asshole. Better be nice. Leave me alone! I'll call my dad! Hold on, okay? Something's going on outside. <laughs> What do you mean? Hey! Look at my shirt, asshole! What's the big deal? It's Halloween! Uh, hey! Uh, Don't ever touch my brother! You hear me, Brett? Fuck you, Diaz! He got his fake blood shit all over my shirt! Look! I told you, it was an accident! You better leave us alone! Oh yeah, go hide in your dad's garage! Pussies! You think you own the block? Step 
back. He didn't mean it. He's a fucking kid. He's a fucking retard. What? What did you just say? You heard me, bitch. Don't ever touch him again. Or what? You gonna get your daddy? Hey, asshole. I don't need him to protect me from you. Oh, you, you wanna go? Oh yeah, motherfucker? Then go back to your own country. <laughs> Whoa! Sean, you hit him! Get inside now! Sean! You're dead meat, bitch! <laughs> you and your whole fucking family are going to jail, losers! What's going Fuck on? me! Daniel, get over here! Sean! Is he hurt? Okay! Okay, step away! Now! Calm down, officer! Shut up! And step back! <laughs> On the ground! Now! Hey, wait! This guy was he started beating it. up my little On the brother! Ground. Now! Hands behind your Sean. head! Sean! This is fucking bullshit! <laughs> Oh no. Sean, what's Get happening? Get on the ground, Dad, we didn't do Sean, anything. Sean, be quiet. I swear. Oh, Sean, Dad, listen. Oh. I'm sorry, Dad. Daddy, be quiet. you want to go home? They're good kids, officer. Don't move. I'm sure they didn't do I anything. I said don't move. Nothing. We didn't Daniel, do anything. It's going to be all right. On the ground. No, man. We can't stop here. We gotta keep going. No pouting, okay? Come on. But... But... My feet really hurt. They just suck. And we've been walking for four days. What? Only two. Don't even try that shit. 
and my back hurts from sleeping under that stupid bridge. Yeah, so does mine. I was there too. Just knock it off. I hate it when you act like this. This is how people camp in the woods. It's not like being, being at home or, or in your room. This is a, a real adventure, right? So, come on, let's hit the trail. Seriously. Where's Dad? Daniel, come on. We gotta go. Why isn't Dad with us, Sean? Doesn't he want to go camping too? Yes, but I told you that he can't. I told you, okay? Okay, but I am so sick of walking. I just wish I was back in my room. I know, I know. Hey, at least we don't have to go to school on Monday, right? Yeah. Look, um, everybody's gonna be so stoked when they find out how far you walked. Really? Really? I bet Dad would be too. Do you think we walked, like, maybe a hundred miles? Probably two hundred. Feels like it. Ooh, awesome possum. But next time, Dad better get me a good pair of shoes, like yours. Dude, a Bigfoot doesn't need good shoes. I'd rather be a wolf. Ow! We could be wolves. Yeah, yeah, that, that works. Just work on that how. Hey, you know what? Let's see if you can walk the whole way without complaining once, huh? Uh, like, you don't whine too? I don't whine. I, I, tag your ass and no. run. You're it. No way, not fair. Whatever. Okay, I'm a zombie and I'm gonna eat you. Blah! Stop. You know what? You're not allowed to say that ever again. Yes, sir. 
You'll be the first one to know when we get there, okay? I'm tired and hungry too. Listen, this looks like a perfect place to camp out. I bet we're not the first people to stay the night. It's creepy. There's nobody out here. We didn't even see any cars. We're gonna camp here. I'll look out for you. Hope the driver isn't around what watching is us. That? What do you find? Check it out. There's a chunky chocolate crisp bar on the dashboard. Yeah, I see it. You know I love chocolate crisp bars. I haven't had one in a million years. Yeah, right. More like two days ago. Come on. Can we please, please, please? Get one when we stop next, please. I promise. Yeah! And you can wash it down with a frosty root beer later, okay? But I'm starving. Just... don't eat me! cars in a long time. Now we can see where we are. Cool. There's a river nearby. A river? Are we gonna go swimming? No. Duh. It's way too cold for your skinny butt. Okay. Let's just hope that doesn't happen while we're here. I'm sure there's no bear around here. That showed me how to read these I when I was eight. Get lost. Daniel, check out this mark on the tree. What is that? Graffiti? Not exactly. It's called a trailblaze, and people used to put them up to give directions. Like GPS? <laughs> yeah, sure. Just slightly more ancient. Awesome! Let's follow it. If only Dad was here. Stop thinking about that. How? <sighs> no reception in this shithole. Oh, man. I'm so... Come on, Daniel. The sun is going down. <sighs> okay, dude. Do you have to use the bathroom? No. It smells real bad. No shit. Seriously? You better go now. I don't have to go. Jeez. Can I just pee on a tree? As long as you don't mind the poison ivy on your balls. Uh, well, maybe I'll go. But don't let me get stuck in there. Don't worry. I'll call the forest plumbers if you fall in. Gross? These are worse than the ones at school. <laughs> Especially after you use it. Sean? Look how big these trees are. Eh, that's only because they need the sun. Besides, they'll protect us from the rain. What if they don't? 
What if they uh, attack us? Aren't you Mr. Minecraft? I thought you loved the forest. I watched you build giant cities out of logs. I did. I built the biggest cities ever. Ooh. I can use my axe to chop up some wood. Then we can build a secret base. Well, sounds like you're ready for the woods. Lead the way. Where are we going? Hmm. The river must be a bit further. Let's take a look around. Whoa. That place is huge. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Hey, Sean, I found berries. Can I taste one, please? Not these ones. Come on. I'm starving. One won't hurt. Yeah, it could. You better listen to me. I don't think Daniel understands what's going on. I can't tell him the truth now. I just can't. Just like the trails Dad used to take me on. What would happen if someone actually catches us? Hey, Sean! Look! Picnic and hiking site. Well, I bet nobody comes out here to picnic anymore. Well, that's good for us. No camping? Uh-oh. Don't worry. Nobody's gonna find us out here. Do not feed or disturb the animals? What? What kind of animals? Like bears? Or coyotes? Or... Oh yeah! Bears, coyotes, wolves, Bigfoot. Anything with claws and fangs, really. Jeez. We shouldn't be out here. I'm kidding, Daniel. There's nothing in this forest. Don't freak yourself out. No, not right now. We stick together. Ah, uh, you're no fun. Not today, I'm not. Sorry. Whatever. How am I gonna tell him the truth? Ah, uh, that raccoon must be starving. Raccoons are way smarter than us. He'll find more food. came with us. He could be our pet. Oh, man. Raccoons are not a pet. You ever see their claws? Yeah, but this one likes me. Until you run out of food. Let it go, Daniel. Ho oh, ho ho. Looks like a charged creeper was here. I do not want to get stuck out here. We gotta find a campsite. Now we just have to find another way around. Another one here. Hey, I think this path leads to the river. Coming. Oh, <gasps> that's one big tree. Ah! Uh. 
Oh, man. You okay? No. I don't like this place. I don't want to stay here. I know, Daniel. I get it. But we won't be here long. I promise. Sean. I'm tired. Do we have to keep walking? <sighs> no. I'm tired too. Plus the sun is going down, so... We better find our camping spot for the night. Is that cool with you? I'd be such a shit father. Bird's nest? Oh, yeah. They're everywhere out here. At least they have a home. Come on. We're too big for a nest. Come on. I got you. <clears throat> Phew. Thanks. Uh... You see that? Looks like a clicker. What the hell is that? I should have listened in biology class. Uh, yeah. Uh <laughs> Stop it! like a cave. Kind of, kind of spooky. No. Actually, it's kind of perfect. For what? For us, man. We're gonna stay in there? I don't know. <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Look, this could be our secret base. could fight off any skeletons or creepers with some good traps. <laughs> cool. In that case, we we'll definitely need to get a fire going first, right? Right! Yes! Uh, so what do we need? Okay. Uh, I needed to build a camp to keep out all those creepers and... Whatever. And I'll take care of finding the wood. Deal? Yes! I can build traps, too. Nothing will get to us. Awesome, dude. I know. <sighs> okay. Let's unpack. Finally.
awesome. Look. <laughs> Coming. Let's see. Here's a good spot. One step here and wham. Now this is perfect. I wish I had some redstone. I could make way better tracks. Nice and dry. Ooh, we can yell as much as we want. Hmm. That's enough for a toasty fire. Hey, this isn't too bad. I guess Daniel can chill a little. Hey, can you give me a hand? Yeah. This is the best- Yo, what are you doing? I'm trying to move this branch to protect the base. Good call. Here, let me take this side. You got it? We'll see. Go ahead and push. We did it. Nothing can get in here now. Damn right. Nice work, Daniel. Cool. I'll go check the river. Check this out, Sean. Whoa. Nice view. You can see so far. No. Come on down. We gotta eat. All right, and I know. We're cave people now. Time to make fire. We make fire. Can I help? You have a big mouth like me, so come on. Blow. Yes. Dude, don't blow it out. Sorry. Sorry. I wanted to do it like a movie. Oh, nice. It's warming up.
wish we had more. I know. Me too. I wish we had a cheeseburger and a milkshake like yesterday. Oh, dude. That shake was so good. Can't believe we found a diner on the way out here. <laughs> I want another one. I know. We'll get you one. Promise. secret base ever. Nobody's gonna find us. Look! A full moon! Ooh! <laughs> it's not quite full yet, wolf boy. Do you think there are werewolves for real? <laughs> of course there are. But they're no match for us. How do you know? What if they come here? Oh! Bring it on! Sean? Come on. I'm kidding. We'll be safe here. Almost broke. How do we eat tomorrow? You okay, buddy? Yeah. Feels good to sit down. Sean? Are you mad at me for what happened with Brett? I don't remember everything. It's not your fault. Shit happens. Brett deserved it. Why can't I remember? Uh, that's weird. Um... Uh, don't worry, dude. You were running around all day. You tired out. It happens. Daniel's a zombie. We gotta get to sleep. Still no reception. Of course. I'm bored. Sean, can I play Mustard Party on your phone? Please? Dude, get real. The battery's almost dead, and we're gonna need it. Come on. You said there's no reception. So what? You'd still kill the battery. Forget it. You just don't want me to beat your score. <laughs> That's right. And you never will. Oh, you look tired. Ready to crash? I've been ready all day. My feet hurt. I think we earned some serious rest. I could sleep forever. Not on this ground. <sighs> better than freezing out there, right? Way better. Now we have a real fire. And a secure base. You did awesome today, Daniel. Really? Hell yeah. Yeah, you're like a... a real wilderness expert. <sighs> That's cool. Why? Well, it's 
Stay open, your son. Sleep tight, bro. Hey, bro, wake up. Huh? Sean? What happened? Where's Dad? It's okay. You, you just had a bad dream. That's all. Sean? I'm scared. I keep hearing noises. Uh, no. No, don't be. Uh, everything's cool. But we're alone. You said there were bears and wolves. Uh, you... You fortified our base, so we're safe. And look, our our fire's still roaring. Daniel, we'll find a better place tomorrow, okay? And food, too. I promise. You promise? Promise. Look, it's easier now. We're going downhill. We just gotta keep walking. Yeah. You said things were getting better yesterday. And the day before. I'm sorry, dude. I'm trying my best. Let's walk a little more. There will be a rest stop or something where we can buy food. I'm sure of it. Are you okay? Yeah. No. I was just thinking about when Harry Thompson wanted to beat me up. Me and Noah traded some games with Harry. But he didn't like his, so he said he was going to get us after school. What did you do? We waited in the gym until he went home. That's it? You should have told me. I tried. But you said to get out of your room. I'm sorry, you know, no. I should have listened. You did stand up for me, with Brett. Hey, there's something ahead. Yep, must be the gas station we saw on that sign. Shit, my phone's dead. Finally. I thought we'd never get out of these woods alive. Awesome. I'm so hungry for real food right now. I hear you. We're gonna get food. Water and... Plus a map. So we can find the best route. Alright. Hey, come on. 
I know last night was tough, but tonight will be better. I swear. Yeah. I, I hope. Can't even check my goddamn voicemail here. There's uh. nothing to do here. When do we leave? It's thoughts I can't do Halloween at home. It's dad. Sean, look at all the people. Okay, be gentle. Fly, be free. <sighs> Not bad, Sean. Not even sure what kind of bird you are, but I'll keep this. It's weird. This will be my first Halloween away from home. No thanks. I already have one. Nachos and cerveza? You sound like an expert douchebag. Hey, look. They're gonna teach us Spanish. Este tipo es un idiota. Um... Maybe some other time. I'm on it. Yeah. After the night we just had, I'll pass. Hello there. Whoa! Sean! Hey! Shoto Crisp! You promised I'd get one. Seven down. God's gas. Okay. That would be P R O P A M E. Beware the Halloween witch. Can't go wrong with these. Where that you're food. walking. Dude. Mud all over my store. I know. Oh man. That is so cool. At least it's got a lot of sugar. Keep our energy up. Hi, what are you looking at? Oh, go on. Hey there. It's well, actually, actually free. Cool. Research. It's, Thanks. Uh, it's a real nice nothing. map. You'll wow. find lots of great like hiking trails stuff? around here. Yeah. It's, uh, adult stuff. 
I'm nine years old. I know these kind of things. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you do. What's your name? Hey, hi. Uh, sorry about my brother. <laughs> oh, don't be. He's awesome. I know what you're thinking. What the hell is this creep looking at? Uh, no. I don't mean... I mean... It's not as weird as it seems, though. These people, they only want to live a normal life. Just... naked. I mean, if they're not harming anyone, who's to say they're wrong? Nobody. Yeah, I agree. Yes, why should we all be the same? Who says so? <laughs> Never mind. I'm getting carried away. Name's Brody. I'm kind of an online traveling journalist. Sean. What's a online traveling journalist? Just a fancy name for someone who drives around in a car, writing about people and stuff. There's a few websites that pay me for these papers since I know how to write. Nice to meet you, man. You traveling with your brother? Yeah, we're on the road, going south. Good for you. The best way to learn is on the road. The earlier, the better. Well, I'd love to talk and avoid work all day, but I'm already up against the deadline. Safe travels, dudes. Thanks, man. See you around. Ooh, Sean, check it out. It's a raccoon costume. I want to be a raccoon. Let's see. T Looks like you're all set to go. Is that it? Yeah, I think so. Okie dokie. <sighs> Let's ring you up. And there's the damage. Here. Thanks much. All right, here's your change. Cool. Thanks. Hey, what about that? We could use that. Daniel, come check this out. What? What is it? It's a puppy. Super cute. <laughs> yeah, super cute. Is this yours? No, just another stray mutt. Aw, he must be sad. What's his name? That's a she. Oh, right. Oh, can we have the puppy? Please? <sighs> Let me think. I don't know. It's a pretty huge responsibility. Yeah. It would be so cool. Come on. We need adults to take care of her, not kids. I know. I just thought we could. <sighs> I'd love to. She's right. We can't take care of a dog right now. I'm Daniel. So what exactly are you doing all the way out here? It's a secret adventure. Is that so? Sounds intriguing. Did you make all these bears? Oh no. I won't take any credit for the bears. That's all on my husband. He won't stop making them. Oh, no matter how much I beg. Oh, I think they're so cute. Well, good for you. Sure glad somebody does. Hey, don't bother her. Sorry about that. But, uh, I'm talking to her. He sure likes to chat. Yeah, he talks a lot. Whatever. I do not talk too much. You always say that. But that's not true. Yes? Can I help you? You don't look like you're from around here.
Oh, we're on a, a road trip. Looks like you went through a mud flow. Oh, uh, we went on a big hike and fell. A lot. So where are your parents? Oh, oh, this is just for me and my brother. No parents allowed. By yourselves, all the way out here? Oh, it's no big deal. Um, just a short field trip. We're not that far from home. Well, didn't mean to grill you. Just making sure you're okay out here. Have a nice day. Weird to be in here after the forest. <sighs> like another world. See the baby bear, Daniel? Oh, that is awesome, possum. I mean, bear. So cool. Then he's all yours. We have a surplus, as you could tell. Really? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Who sends postcards? Boring. <laughs> She's staring at you. Uh, Dad would have loved this so much. Grab it and check out this map. It's our table now. <laughs> yep. Let's see. What do we got here? Huh. Is that all we've got? Sorry, you know. Really? You got me a choco crisp? Of course I did. You deserved it. Where are you guys off to now? Uh, south, I guess. Right on. Pro tip, don't feed the bears. <laughs> See you later. Whoa, that's a big map. <sighs> yeah, hope I can read it. Is this supposed to be Washington? I don't recognize anything. Yeah, me neither. But we have to be somewhere in there. Hey, I know. We're here. There's a gas station. See? Nah, no way. We were near Mount Rainier yesterday, but it's miles away now. Let me show you where we are, okay? Yeah, okay. We slept at that trout trail thing. Then we walked south for a while. Hmm. We have to be somewhere southwest of Mount Rainier. <sighs> nope. This can't be here. We slept at that trout trail thing. Then we walked south for a while. All right. This is it. Are you sure? <sighs> yes, it is. It's next to the river we camped by yesterday. Here we are. Okay, so... Can we go there tonight? Are you kidding? It's way too far. You want to walk a whole week again? Aww, but it looks cool. Hold on. I'll find where we can go. Hey, kids. 
Looks like you're out camping. Oh, yeah. Just going over trails and stuff. Seems dangerous to be out here all alone. But maybe you're the ones who need to be watched. Huh? What do you mean? We sure just... hope you pay for all that. We don't tolerate shoplifters. Uh, sir, we paid for this. And the map was free. Well, let's go inside. You can show us what you bought. Uh, no, thanks. We have to go. Nope. You're going inside. Don't make this worse for yourself, kid. Or I will. Uh, excuse us, sir. We were just hiking, I swear. Then let's find out if you're telling the truth. Come on. Uh, but we have to get going. Sean? Uh, it's okay. Look, our, our dad is waiting for us. Okay. You can call him from our phone. Now let's go. Don't touch me! Don't do it, boy! Let go! Uh, Don't touch my brother! Well, Tank. Hank Stamper. Listen, I caught myself a couple of fugitives you might be interested in. Oh, they ain't going anywhere. Don't you worry. Okay, fine. Thank you. What the fuck? Where am I? Oh shit, Daniel, no, 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 don't do this to me. Police will get those two straightened out. Are you sure about this, Hank? I don't know. And they'll be off our property and won't be our problem no more. If you say so then, well, I'll let you deal with it. No, oh. hey there, you finally awake? Sorry I had to secure you, but if you're innocent, don't act guilty. How's your stomach? It hurts. I didn't pop you that hard. You're all right. I, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Just let me use the bathroom. Nice try. But I know who you are and what you did in Seattle. You saw it in the paper. Where's my brother? Wish I knew. Little shit took off. I'll find him. Don't worry. If you touch him... You think I'd hurt a little boy? Guess you didn't have any second thoughts about leading him out into the middle of nowhere, though. That's real safe for a little kid. If he's lucky, he won't end up like his criminal big brother. Just let me go, please. You're the reason we need to build that wall. You hold tight. I'm gonna go get your brother. Shit. Bastard turned the lights off. Fuck. Plastic. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wonder if I could get more light from it.
It's a little better. Daniel, you're doing great. You totally fooled them. Thanks to you, we have a chance of getting out of here. Yeah? Yeah. We gotta hurry, though. He called the cops on us. Think, dude. There's gotta be a way out of here. There's a window over there. Maybe you can find a way in or something. Tracked him. Hey, you think you can open the back door? I don't know. It won't open. It's locked. What do I do? I don't know. Let me think. Can you try and open this vent? Yes. Ouch. It hurts. Sorry, Sean. I won't move. Don't worry. We'll figure something out. Sean. I'm really scared. Don't be. I'm... I'm right here, okay? Just hold tight. Don't run off. <sighs> so close, but yet too fucking far. <sighs> of course the fucking keys are all the way over there. Break this shit. Maybe Daniel can help. Okay, Daniel. I see some keys, but I can't reach them. <sighs> Maybe I can get them if I can pry this pipe off the wall. Can you find some kind of tool out there? I don't know where one is. Find me something sturdy, like a, a screwdriver or a wrench. Anything. And I know, I can't really see much from where I am. There should be some tools nearby. Okay, okay, I'm looking. Daniel. Sean? I can't hear you. Come on. Let's do this. <laughs> yes! Good job, bro. What's going 
Come on, you mother. Yes. Score. Can you do it? Here, here. Come on. hit you? Did he? No, he tried to grab me, but I got away. Okay, we need to cut this off fast. How about these? Dude, you rock. Did that asshole see you? No way. I'm invisible. Yeah, you are. Okay, now we gotta get my stuff and go. What happened? What? What did you do? I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. It's okay. You're safe now. Move it. Let's go. Now. Come on! Come on! Wait! Shit! Where are we going? Sean! Watch out! Over there! Uh, let's go! I don't know! Oh, what are you doing out here, man? You almost scared the shit out of me. You guys okay? You don't look okay. That asshole at the gas station. You're fucking crazy. He tied me up in his back office. I swear. Dude, say no more. I believe you, okay? It's crazy out in the woods. Get in, you too. Hurry up before he catches us. having a shitty day. I knew that guy was sketchy. He was a total fucking dickhead. I'm lucky I didn't beat his ass. Whoa, kid. Maybe he deserved it, but don't do it and don't talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Sorry. I'm just still pissed off. Welcome to Redneck Land. This ain't Seattle no more. Yeah. My dad said there are more Bigfoots out here than Mexicans. No doubt. People out here are more scared of you and your little brother. This is nuts. Well, don't let it phase you, little dude. You're going to meet some amazing people on the road, too. <coughs> What's under the blanket? Come on, I'm not stupid. <sighs> Daniel. What? We saved her. <laughs> We're heroes. 
Yeah, guess we are. <laughs> so, what should her name be? Hey, your dog, your choice. Oh, cool. Let's see. Um, mm, how about a uh, mushroom? She totally looks like a mushroom. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Not much of a girl's name, though. Who cares? I'm sure she loves it. So do I. <laughs> All right. Mushroom it is, then. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Thanks, big brother. See, Mushroom, you got the best name ever now. <laughs> mushroom. <laughs> nice. I feel like I just witnessed history. You're on your way to becoming official road warriors, my dudes. <laughs> so, what do you do exactly? Long, boring story short. <laughs> I come from a family with money, but no soul. I took off after school and never looked back. Now I write stories for zines and websites, do podcasts, protests, try to make some positive change. Eh, whatever. Wow. So you're like all political. Everything is political, Sean. So, how do you make money? <laughs> Spoken like a real American. <laughs> Just curious. Now that we're urban nomads too, if you have any tips. I sell shit. Like a good capitalist. Stories when I can. eBay when I can't. My biggest expense is gas and food, so it's easy. Hmm. Hey, no matter what, I just try not to get cynical. Otherwise, I'd be like my family. End of the day, we have to watch out for each other, right? Yeah, you did watch out for us. Thank you. Seriously. <laughs> Looks like your brother crashed hard. Oh, good. He always goes right to sleep in cars. Yeah. And feel free to do the same. I won't take it personally. What about you? You okay to drive? Oh, yeah. This is my favorite time to drive. Traveling by night is kind of mysterious. Man, look at that. Oregon is like the edge of the world. 
Hey, listen. I know what happened with you guys in Seattle. Do you want to talk about it? I'm a good listener. It's your call, no pressure. I... I don't even know what happened. It was so fast. It was the police. It's their fault. Dano just wanted to play zombie outside. Our shithead neighbor was picking on him. And I got in a fight. So Dad came out to help. Somebody called the cops and, and they shot him. They killed my dad in front of me. One second my dad was alive. Then... <laughs> fucking cops. <laughs> hey, it's gonna be alright. Take a deep breath. I didn't even get to hug my dad the last time I saw him. Listen, I'm really sorry this happened to you, man. Injustice is everywhere. And you're taking the brunt of it right now. But you're gonna be okay, Sean. How? Wish I could go back to my town. Even if it was boring like that one. At least I've had friends. Family. A home. I used to bitch about it so much. Now I've got... Nothing. What is sure is... That's the past. But you can't look back now. You've got each other. And you have to move forward. Why? You may not see it, but what you and your brother have is the most important thing. He needs you. And you need him. I can tell he doesn't know what happened. Sean. At some point, you're gonna have to tell him. I know. I just have to find the right time. Take it from me. The sooner you can address it, the better. Yeah. I'm gonna do it next chance I get. It's just... It's not gonna be easy. So then, what's your plan? Where are you going? Good question. I was thinking... Get out of the country? Fuck it, go down to Mexico, you know? <laughs> Damn. I thought I was the long-haul traveler. <sighs> Should I go back? To Seattle? Maybe I can try and explain everything. What happened? You should do what you think is best. If going to Mexico seems like the right thing to do, then so be it. You're going in the right direction. You have family there? Maybe. We don't even have family in the U.S. Except for grandparents we don't see anymore. What about your mom? No, no way. She's... out of the picture. But Dad, he always talked about this plot of land he owns in this little coast town, Puerto Lobos. That's a pretty cool name. So it's gotta be great. Okay, so you've still got a long ways to go. We've shot the shit long enough. Time to hit the road. Listen, 
I'll drop you by a motel in a couple of hours. You guys could use some time to yourselves. Okay, Mushroom, you can chase me. Then, Sean. <laughs> um, no. Come, see if you can catch me. Ow! Hey, let's play fetch with the pup. Really? Yes. Let me do a test throw first. Cool? Well, okay, but I'm next. Okay, puppy. Go wide. Come on, Mushroom. Get it. Go, Mushroom. <laughs> Good doggy. I think we need a frisbee. Now she wants me to throw the stick. Okay, here. <laughs> Watch how fast she'll get the stick. You go for it. Just don't throw it too far. I won't. I swear. I mean, I promise. Come on, mushroom. Come on. Look, it's a stick. Fetch. Get that stick! Looks like these two are getting along. It's good to see him like that. Well, I got you that room. Seriously? I... It's only a room. No big deal. Look, I had tough times when I started out. And some strangers saved my life. Thank you. Now's my turn to help someone. It's right there, room 10. On the second floor. Listen, I don't want to freak you out, okay, but you have to be twice as careful now. I know it's easier said than done, but you should get rid of that phone. Really? You can always get a burner later. Trust me. And Sean, talk to Daniel. He deserves Brody. to... You're not leaving, are you? Yes, I am, but not until Santa Brody gives you a goodbye gift. Ta-da! I, I mean, ho, ho, ho. And don't you dare argue about it. I'll leave it right here if you do. Okay, you win. Thanks, Brody. Feels good. Here, looks like it's yours now. As always. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't forget you. I've had it since my first road trip. And it's always kept me safe. Now it's yours. Cool. Um, do you think it's okay if she wears it? Like, our official dart dog? <laughs> sure. It's your bandana now. Okay. 
time for me to hit the road again. Hey, don't look so sad. You can contact me on my blog, A Tribe Called West. So, you better keep me posted when you can, okay? We will. Thanks again, Brody. <laughs> ah, bro hug. You could stay with us. Me too, kid. Uh, sorry, I'll probably think of a better goodbye when I'm on the road, but until then, take care, my dudes. I'm gonna miss him. Me too. Okay. Time to hit the sack. Don't worry, Mushroom. I got you. Okay, good. Looks like the manager's asleep for the night. Shouldn't have any trouble from them. Do you think it will have Netflix or a jacuzzi? Dude, this is some hotel, not an Airbnb. If you're lucky, it'll have cable and a hot shower. I'm gonna throw you in, cave boy. We can watch TV too. And there's a balcony. Whoa, this is nice and warm. Oh, this bed is soft. What about this one? Uh, not bad, but too far from the TV. Can I take the one in front of the TV? Huh? Want to play it over rock, paper, scissors? Oh, there's no way you can beat me, but ready? I am so ready to beat you. I won! <laughs> the pet is mine! I knew I'd beat you. See? And I knew you'd brag about it. Don't be salty. It's a fair win. Yeah, it is. I surrender. All right, I'm going to run a bath. We totally reek. Especially you, Pigpen. I wouldn't be so short, Cave Boy. I'll call you when it's ready. Uh, I'll be right here. Of course you will. Oh, cool. Hot Dog Man is on. Oh, I remember this episode. Weird, it's on so late. Fill her up. Daniel will love this. Dude, you really look like shit. Hmm. 
Now let's put this in the bathroom for Prince Daniel. <sighs> Daniel, you have towels in the bathroom. Don't forget to use yeah, them. Yeah. Hey, Daniel. Bath's ready. What? Already? Can I finish this episode first? <laughs> no, man. You smell so bad, there's no time to lose. Oh. Hey, you smell too. Oh my god. Whoa. So many bubbles. Try and keep them in the bathtub. I will. Promise. Thanks. And no, the dog is not taking a bath with you. Okay, okay. Don't worry. I should throw my phone away while Daniel is washing. He'd freak out if he saw me. Time to say goodbye to modern life. Lily's freaking out. Maybe I should leave her out of this, or she'll get into trouble too. Sean? Hey, Lila. Sean, is that you? Do you... Sean! Oh, God. Are you okay? I guess. I'm... I'm in a motel. With Daniel. <laughs> Shit. Everyone's looking for you here. Fuck. I didn't do anything. I know. God, this is so messed up. The cops are talking to everybody at school. This is a nightmare. We're fucked. Sean, don't say that. It will be okay. I miss you so much. Maybe you could come back. You know I wish I could, but we can't take that risk. They're, they're gonna put me in juvie. And Daniel- Oh shit, you're innocent. And I've got your back, no matter what. No way, I'm not gonna let you get in trouble for me. Stop acting like I'm never gonna see you again. That's bullshit. I'm sorry. I totally hate this. I guess the freaking fighters are disbanded for a while. Shit actually changes, I guess. So, where are you going? Um, we're just going away for now. I'll call you if I get a chance. I miss you, Lila. Sean, wait. Okay, 
Don't think about it. Just tell Daniel the truth. Are you kidding me? Remember that song? Come on, dance! Man, I... I can't dance right now. My legs are thrashed. Sorry. You're no fun. Daniel... Uh... Come here. We need to talk. Can we get a drink first? I'm thirsty. Right now? You said I could have a coat. Or something. Okay. I'll get you a soda. But when I come back, we're going to talk. Serious. Fine. What's the big deal? Sorry. I just... Just don't lie to me ever again. Ever. I promise I won't lie to you again. I promise. I'm serious, Sean. I know. Me too, Danny. What are we gonna do without him? Shh. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Sean. Am I a monster? Nothing is wrong with you. You're different. <sighs> okay. What are we gonna do now? I was thinking maybe we could go to Puerto Lobos. Her dad grew up, you know? Yeah, I guess. 
It'll be fine, Daniel. There's nothing we can't do. As long as we're together. Can you tell me a story? Like he did? I'm not as good as him. He used to tell me bedtime stories, too. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home there with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together. were alone and they had to find a new home they started a journey 